What is up guys, it's Fat Leo, and today I am bringing you my draft analysis for the UGBC. <laughs> you heard that right, UGBC. I'm in another league. I mean, uh, that's three right now. Yeah, that's pretty insane. I'm, j I'm going to lose my mind, actually, for sure. No doubt, yep, for sure, guaranteed. By the time all these three leagues are done, I'm just going to retire from Pokemon and never play them again. Hopefully I win all three, that would be cool, but... I'm not, I'm, I can't. I'll just retire from Pokemon. I'll never play again. And by the time they're all done, UGBC or the friggin' Sun and Moon's coming out, and then I'll unretire. I'll retire for a day, and then I'll buy Sun and Moon, and then anyway, basically, what what I'm what I'm doing here is explaining the team to you. Um, first pick Excadrill, second pick Thunderous. Um. The only reason I got these two mods is because I want I was trying to make the exact same team for UGBC as I had last season. Uh, I was trying to make it the exact same, but then for my third pick, I ha I wanted Togekiss, but Togekiss got sniped. So I was like, the dream is over, I'm going to have to get a different team, so I got Terrakion. I was like, okay. Alright. <clears throat> Terrakion, Excadrill, Thunderous. That's power. Those stats, 129 attack, 125 special attack, 115 attack. 135 attack. So these guys together are power. Power, these three. Um, I guess a lot of my offensive core will be these guys. Next, I got Sylveon as my next pick in uh, UU. Since I can't build the same team as last team, I, I planned a little bit and I kind of screwed myself over by picking Extra and Thunderous. I really limited my options to what I could get. Um, so I had to plan for stuff. And I don't really like planning for drafts. Um, like, my plan for PCL was basically just a bunch of offensive mons. And any offensive mon that gets sniped, I can just replace with another offensive mon. Um, and basically any walls, just fillers, anything with anything that the typing's allowed, as long as I didn't have too huge a weakness. Um, but here, I'm just like, eh. All right. I want, I want to go hyper offense with some spikes as well. So I wanted to get Roserade first pick. And then I'm like, literally two minutes before my pick, I'm telling my friend I'm getting Roserade. And my pick comes around and I grab Sylveon. And, and, and he's just like, question mark, question mark, question mark in the chat. And he thought I wanted Roserade, but nah. I mean, I did. But I picked Sylveon, because I knew Sylveon was going to be taken. Not a chance Sylveon wouldn't be taken. Um, so I'm like, alright. I'll get, because I needed a fighting resist, because the way it was looking, I was going to have a huge fighting weakness, so. And I also, I saw Mega Sableye got drafted, so I didn't want to just lose to Sableye, so I had to grab a fairy. So I was like, alright, I'll grab a fairy. Rosary can wait till the next round. So what happens next is, oh, I forgot to mention, this is like a UCL style, so three mods from each tier. Uh, NU and PU are counted as one tier as well as LC, those three are all one tier. So I've got the three OUs and then my three UUs. Next I've got Crobat. Um, the reason I picked Crobat is because Roserade was sniped. It's actually really funny. Um, I was going to get Terrakion. Uh, I was going to switch switch up Terrakion for Gengar, because I really like Gengar, and Gengar is ridiculously good. And I, I just thought it would be hilarious if I drop Terrakion again, because I think I've drafted him twice now, and I haven't used him once, and I've dropped him right away, two times, uh, so I think that's pretty funny, and I always look, I, I go into every draft wanting to get Terrakion, and I've never managed to, uh, at least hold on to him, so I'm like, alright, I want to switch Terrakion for Gengar, um, but then one guy dropped, Irish Emerald actually dropped out of the league, and he... So he drops out, and we get a replacement, and oh my god, it's Leo. Like, the same Leo that I played the fun battle with, the same Leo that I played that OU match with. Like, this guy, I've played him like a million times already, man. And then they, they, replace, they replace Seamus with Leo, so I was like, oh my god, why'd you let this guy in? So then Leo gets to rebuild the team from the first three picks, because he didn't pick the first three, so he grabs Gengar. I was like, god damn it, Leo. So Leo took my Gengar. So then Leo has Leo goes like one pick before me in UU, and he grabs Roserade, and I was like, God damn it, dude! 
Oh my god. And I was still looking like I was going to have a huge fighting weakness. So I'm like, alright. I've got some... I'm going to get some speed and some defogging. Because I was planning on dropping Excadrill. And... I got Crobat. And with the typing, it works. I mean, I've got a Fairy Killer. And... You know, it's fast. It can be... It, it, it's okay. And it's reasonably bulky. 85... 80 and 80 so it's not it's not good but it's not you know in the right scenario it could be used as a wall uh, or at least to take enough hits and maybe like a bulky pivot or something you know with a u-turn or whatever super fang it, it's a good mon it's super fast it's cool um and then my next pick was mega swamp who i actually wanted originally um i changed that to mega blastoise as soon as i decided i was going to drop excadrill uh but then I decided I wasn't going to drop Excadrill. Um, I'm just, I was asking in the chat if anybody wanted to trade for Excadrill, and nobody did. And the only thing I could really drop it for is like Garchomp, but I didn't really want Garchomp because that just gives me a huge, um, huge four times ice weakness, so everyone's just going to slap on HPX against me, and you'll see why later. So the reason I got Swampert is because his attack is ridiculous 150. So he can be a wall breaker uh, with that insane attack stat. Um, he's got Swift Swim, so that's basically, Swift Swim's not a great ability unless you're running rain, but, uh, basically, if you set up a rain dance with Mega Swampert, his speed doubles, and his attack, and his water moves do a lot, suddenly do a lot more damage. Now, this is really good, because, essentially, rain dance is a setup move from, with Swampert, and having played against rain teams, uh, in, in OU, for example, uh, Omega Swampert is insanely powerful. Like, you can just sweep teams. So, I mean, maybe I'll run rain one time. Um, I've got some potential for it. Like, I have Thunderous, uh, who can do Prankster Rain. Uh, yeah, so Swampert's really cool. Then there's also the option of running Special Swampert, which is super cool, because he can... Get a Super Power, Focus Blast, Earth Power, uh, Ice Beam, Blizzard, Ancient Power. So it's not good, but it's not horrible. And, yeah, I mean, Stone Edge, Earthquake. Oh, and he also gets Sled Wave. That's the most important thing. And then Scald. So he's got moves. He's got moves. Uh, Outrage, Low Kick, Ice Punch. His coverage is pretty good. Um, Riding him special is going to be a hell of a surprise. So, I mean, yeah, Swampert's cool. I just wanted to try a new Mega. Um, yeah. Now, on to my next six picks. My RU is in NUs. Uh, so, what do we have here? First pick, Flygon. And I wanted to get Flygon because, you know, like I said, I was going to drop um, Excadrill, so I needed hazard removal. And that's literally the only reason I got Flygon. It's, it's okay, otherwise, I mean, you've seen it in my PBA, or my PCL, it can be used as a wall, um, scarfed, that's the most common, but defog is great, defog is really, really awesome on this thing, uh, because it's, it can be an offensive mod with defog, which is what I really like, I like offensive spinners and hazard setters, uh, something that f would force something out and allow me to remove hazards, um, yeah, not really a big deal, uh, you know, it's just there, because it's good, and I like it, so my next mod is Spiritomb, and I got Spiritomb for one reason, which I will not reveal. <laughs> um, but other other than that, there are some good things about it. Like, it's got Infiltrator, which is great, because I'm always worried about subs, and if, you know, if I've got Infiltrator, I don't care about subs. And he can be physical or special. Uh, he's not great, he's only 92 in each, but he can be either or. So if somebody wants to set up on one side, like Calm Minds, I can hit him on the physical side. And then he's got Pressure, which can help me stall. And then he, he his defensive stats are not amazing um, by any stretch. They're 108 in defense and special defense, which is good. But then he's got 50 HP, so yeah, he's a decent wall. Um, not great. He also has no reliable recovery, so... This is my first time drafting a mod that I'm likely going to use as a wall without reliable recovery. Um, so, this is the first time I'm really ever going to use Paint Split in my life, so it's going to be pretty cool, something interesting to see. 
Also, this thing's um, only weakness is fairy, so that's great. Gives me a spin blocker with offensive or defensive potential. I mean, look at these moves, though. Calm Mind, Destiny Bond, Foul Play, Memento, Nasty Plot, Pain Split. Uh, Psychic, actually. I didn't even know that. Pursuit, Shadow Sneak, Sucker Punch, Taunt, Toxic, and Will-O-Wisp, and Trick. Like, this dude is insane. Confuse Ray, Curse. Uh, Endure. Oh, I love Endure. Grudge. What the hell is Grudge? Uh, Hypnosis. Man, Icy Wind. Natural Gift. Psych Up. Everything gets Psych Up. <laughs> Smoke Screen. That would be hilarious if I ever used it. Sunny Day. Not really going to be useful. Wonder Room. Interesting. Does he get Rain Dance? He does. In Rain Dance. Perfect. So yeah, this dude's got a lot of good moves. Next, Houndoom. Um, I had my sights set on Houndoom pretty much from when I was in UU. I would have liked to draft a UU fire type, but I didn't have space. I needed to get Sylveon, Swampert, and, and Crobat. I pretty much had to get those mods. and <clears throat> Yeah, so I was like, alright, I'm going to get Houndoom. I really like Houndoom. I had Mega Houndoom in the last season of the UGBC, and I had Houndoom in the first season of the PBA, and Houndoom was friggin' amazing. I mean, I ran it mixed with Nasty Plot, uh, with Sucker Punch, I, I even, there's another, there's another great set that I have that I may or may not use, uh, we'll see. I mean, he gets on Nerve, I didn't even know that. So, I mean, if I, if I somehow... I mean, I've got no way to baton pass speed on this team, I don't think. Um, oh, I just realized I have two evolutions. I should probably get rid of Glaceon, I guess. It's funny, though. I'll get to why that's funny. So, yeah, this dude's got Dark and, dark and Fire Stab, which is awesome. And he, the speed tier he's at, 95. What that allows me to do is actually super cool. My uh, Terrakion is 108, and Thunderous is 111. Base 100s? Um, <clears throat> typically, base 100s, if they see that, you, you know, if your opponent sees that you have mods that are faster than 100, they would like to drop their... They would like to run Modest instead of Timid, or Adamant instead of Jolly, because they won't outspeed your higher speed mods anyway. What Houndoom allows me to do is keep them honest, make sure they're timid or jolly, because if they're not, I outspeed them with Houndoom. So, by having balanced speed tiers, you can force uh, people to run jolly or timid to minimize the damage they do. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's got a bunch of cool moves, Destiny Bond, uh, Fire moves, Foul Play, uh, Nasty Plot, which is awesome. Roar, I use that, Season 1. Uh, Super Fang, I use that in one of my, in the last season of the UGBC. Will-O-Wisp, Sucker Punch, Beat Up. If I can figure out how that move works, it would be pretty cool. Counter, I didn't even know that. It got countered, that's insane. I mean, Fire Spin, cool moves. Uh, it gets Inferno, which is, like, I want I want to use Inferno one day. Then he gets Iron Tail on the physical side, Natural Gift. He probably gets Endure. I'm sure he gets Endure. Uh, Reversal I used last season. Yeah, I had some really interesting sets on Houndoom. And Houndoom, honestly, is a lot better as a uh, as a non-Mega. Because you can do a lot more cool things with it. Yeah, so that's that. Sunny Day. Uh, I used the Sunny Day Houndoom once, I think, as well. Last season. I used a lot of really, really crazy sets on Houndoom. So my next mod is Musharna. Um, whenever I'm drafting a Psychic type, I, I check my team to make sure that I don't have, like, three Psychic types already, because historically I've always drafted a bunch of Psychic types, and my Dark Weakness just stacks, but it was nice that I didn't have any Psychic types here, and I actually had a Dark Resist in Sylveon, I've got a Ghost Resist in Houndoom, I think Dark Resist Ghost, I've got another, yeah, that's it, but, like, Ghost is not really a common type, so I don't really care about that, so... Mushard is a great mod. Mushard is amazing. It's basically Reuniclus Jr. without the Magic Guard. Um, so it's basically, you know, poor man's Reuniclus. Um, 
And with its ability to synchronize, if somebody wants to toxic me, I send it back. The main thing about this is it's a good wall, it can set up, and it can baton pass. That is the most important thing. Oh my god, it gets Healing Wish. Oh man, I haven't had Healing Wish on the team in like three seasons. That's actually so awesome. Set screens, and can paint split, I didn't even know that. Thunder Wave, so it's really good. It's, it's a really, really, really good mod, especially for such a low pick. And then it's got Gravity, which I love. It's going to be weird, man. I'm not going to have, um, I won't have, what's it called? <laughs> Landorus. After two seasons of having Landorus, I'm not going to have Landorus. So, yeah, that's, that's why I got this. I mean, it's a wall and it can baton pass. That's awesome for me. I got Glaceon because I originally got a Bombastone. I was like, a Bombastone sucks. Let's get Glaceon. But, I don't know. Glaceon probably sucks too. I should probably get rid of it. It gets Baton Pass too, but it doesn't get any good setup. I don't know who I'll get. It plays a Glaceon, but I'll, I'll probably end up dropping it. Torterra I got because I like Torterra. I mean, it's also a good wall. A good physical wall. A uh, really good physical wall. It's about as good as Mill Tank. Uh, those stats are pretty similar. And then it's even a decent special wall. So, uh, yeah. I mean, if somebody wants to hit me with an HP Ice, you know, alright, fine, whatever. But if, if there's ever a mod that I'm staying in on that has HPS, I'll probably, like, that potentially has HPS, I'll probably try to, I'll probably have something to hit it back. And I'll make sure I have the, in the right investment to live that HP Ice. Now, does this thing get Explosion? It does not. But yeah, this thing sets rocks. Um, I've got like four rock setters. Uh, yeah, I have four rock setters and nobody for spikes. So I may drop Glaceon for somebody that gets spikes. I don't know, like Cacturn or something. But I mean, I've already got grass types. So I'll, I'll see, I'll see. Actually, does this get spikes? Wait, Glaceon? I know who I'm dropping Glaceon for. I know who I'm dropping Glaceon for. You know what? Got it. Glalie. Nobody's gonna grab Glalie, so I'm just gonna put Glalie in here, and I'm going to grab Glalie. Because Glalie sets spikes, and I like Glalie. So cool. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do Glalie. Move right in front of Torterra. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, Torterra, move in front of Glalie. Alright. Nope. Torterra, move behind Glalie. Yeah, there you go. So I like Torterra. Torterra gets Synthesis as well. It's uh, got good attack. Um, I've got some slow mods like Masharna and Torterra and Spirit Tomb. So, again, I have Trick Room potential. Does Masharna get Trick Room? Uh, Trick Room, yeah, it does. So, I've got some potential there. And, I mean, Sylvia's pretty slow. I think it's 65. 60. So, yeah, I mean, I've got some fast mods, some slow mods. Honestly, I actually I kind of like this team. I think Excadrill, Mega Swamper, Thunderous, Terrakion, that offensive core is crazy. I know only one of them is really the special attacker, but I mean, I've got Sylveon there, Houndoom, Musharna. So I think it's, it's a solid team. It's not as... I don't think it's as good as my PCL team or my PBA team, but... You know, we'll see. The draft system's different, and I don't know. It's cool. I'm most looking forward to using Swampert, though, because that seems so cool to me. Mega Swampert. I'm excited for that. So, yeah, guys, that's my um, team builder. Not team builder. That's my draft analysis for the UGBC. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next time, whenever that is. Fat Leo, out.